Now at 6, we have new information on safety concerns raised by EMS workers. Since the police accountability law took effect, they say some officers are just hesitant to search patients who are not part of a police investigation. Now we first uncovered this last night at 6, and now lawmakers are getting involved. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is live at the state capitol tonight with the latest there. Dylan. Yeah, Mark, Aaron, good evening. Look, we spoke to a couple of lawmakers here today at LOB, including one who's also a police officer. He told us this morning that in some situations, because of the police accountability law, officers are a little hesitant. Police officers hesitant to do a lot of things. Greg Howard knows he's in his 21st year as a police officer. The last three, he's doubled as a state representative. They're under the impression that any wrong step could cost them their livelihood and their house. He's talking about Connecticut officers working under the police accountability law. EMTs and paramedics raised concerns on Channel 3 last night about police hesitancy in certain situations, which could impact EMS safety. Nick Paprosky claims procedures have changed since the law was signed in 2020. They would search them, check them for weapons. And since the passage of the bill, um, again, our providers re report to us that there's been some hesitancy in many towns, and, and it sounds like a lot of confusion. Howard has written some of the language in the law, telling us there's no pat-down problem if it's a police investigation. If not, there's a gray area. What's happening in, in when somebody is sent to the hospital on, say, a psyche valve, that's not an ongoing police investigation anymore. Uh, it's not reasonable suspicion, reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. So that's probably where officers are hesitating. Hesitating due to potential liability. If there's a concern, they need to be patted down. My experience has been that that is happening. Uh, but if it's inconsistent across the state, it's something we need to talk about. People are more concerned about it, and, and rightfully so. Bob Holdsworth has been an EMS consultant for 35 years. I don't believe you'll find a res uh, any responder that's been in this business for more than five years that has not been punched, kicked, threatened. The officer's concerned that if they if they conduct a pat down or if they solicit consent to do the pat down, that they may be in violation of the current law. Now, both Nick and Representative Howard today say the language in that law can be a little confusing. It's also worth noting, Mark and Aaron, that the Connecticut Police Chiefs Association told us they hadn't heard of any of these concerns until last night. We're live in Hartford. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.